Hi Atari friends, in this video I would like to demonstrate for you the difference between the Mist and the Eclair. Both of these are Atari emulators where actually they emulate the Atari LSI chip through an FPGA. So it's more like of a hardware emulation rather than a software emulation that you can get on your Mac or PC. So let's take a look closely on the mist first. Let's disconnect it from the screen. So this is the mist. This is the version 1.3. It has an SD card on front where you can put the Atari core, Atari 800 or Atari 800 Excel core um, inside along with your files that you would like to run. It has two joystick ports that you can connect Atari joystick, the original Atari joysticks. On the back it has four USB ports where you can connect a keyboard, USB keyboard, a USB mouse, you can also connect a USB joystick. It has a micro a USB connector for power, VGA for the output and an audio jack for the speakers. On the other side it has two MIDI ports and for the Atari 800 it is not useful but the MIST can also emulate other machines where you just put a different core on the SD card so it can also emulate the Atari ST or the Amiga. The Eclair on the other hand, let's disconnect the Eclair. This is my Eclair XL board. It's larger than the Mist. I got it. It comes in a mini ITX form factor. I got a nice clear plastic case for it. The Eclair can only emulate the Atari 800 computer. It cannot emulate other machines like the Mist, but the Eclair can connect to the original Atari peripherals where the Eclair cannot, meaning you have an SIO port here where you can put and connect a disk drive. You also have four joystick ports, not just two, so you can play Mule with four joystick. You also have a cartridge slot where you can connect and run the Atari original cartridges and the PBI port for all those PBI devices like the MIO or the black box or all other uh, PBI devices. The Eclair Excel on the back has just two USB port for USB keyboard or USB joystick. It has an audio jack uh, for the audio devices. It has a monitor, VGA monitor for the screen and it also has an HDMI so the Eclair can also output HDMI video while the Mist can also uh, only output VGA. The Eclair has a mini USB for the power. So just for summary, the Mist smaller in sizes does not support the original Atari peripherals and but it can also emulate other machines while the Eclair only emulates Atari computers but can also connect to the original Atari peripherals. So let's connect them back and see how software runs on both systems. So I quickly connected them back to the monitor and power and if I will boot switch 
them off and on again. You can see that they boot just like an Atari computer. Going into basic and if I will uh, go to the self-test I can run just the original Atari self-test in order to test the various memory, audio and keyboard. If I want to um, load the software, I simply push F12. I connected the standard PC USB keyboard into the Eclair and the Mist. So pushing F12 will get you into the setting screen. Now both devices, the Eclair and the Mist, has similar core. Both of them are being developed and maintained by Mark Cates. Uh, the Mist has a slightly older version of the core, while the Eclair is maintained more constantly because it has the other uh, features that it needs to support. So both of them has the similar interface, similar GUI, where you can select the speed of the processing system, the speed of the drive loading. You can go ahead and select the memory configuration uh, up to one megabyte, select the Atari or SROM file, mount an ATR or an executable file on one of the drives on the MIST, while in the Eclair you, has, you have a few more features. One of them is the video settings where you can select the output, as I said, to, have, to be DVI or HDMI or S-Video. That's because the Eclair has more video output than the MIST. So if I'm going to load a game, and let's load a game on the MIST. So I'm going to select to dr on drive 1, go to Games, and let's select the latest version of Basconian game. I'm going to mount it and uh, we can uh, just exit and I just need to reset with the option key pressed so it will load without basic we can connect to the Eclair either in a Atari compatible joystick that uses the standard joystick ports and if you don't have one you can also get or order one of those USB compatible joystick where it's simply a, it, an, an Atari version of the USB D-pad so even those D-pad joysticks, USB joystick can also be connected to the uh, MIST and you can play the game. So let's connect the joystick and see how it works. So we have connected the USB joystick to the USB port, one of the USB port of the MIST and we selected the Bosconian game from the MIST menu to mount it as drive one and we booted the emulated Atari computer with the option key so basic will be disabled and we are now uh, loading the game we can do something similar on the Eclair so we just take the joystick and you can just the audio here is from the monitor built-in speakers, so... Oh, 
there was one more. Okay, so we got that uh, demonstrated on the on the mist, and let's push reset. Let's go back to the menu. On the same thing on the eclair, it has the same GUI. We can just go in, go to one of the games. Let's select mule. And we can boot with the option key pressed. And mule will boot from the mounted file or mounted ATR. This image and the game will start and if we will plug here four joystick ports we can play either from an Atari joystick or from a PC computer regarding the emulation level the both cores for the Eclair and the Mist are pretty much matured they will run most software and most game and most demos without a problem. The image is pretty much clear and sharp either through the DVI or VGA and um, you can even try and run the same thing, same software on both devices and, and compare their performance but probably they will work the same. Let's try and run a demo. Let's go to the... Oh. Push the wrong key. Let's load one of the demos here. Um, let's run a chessboard. That would be nice to run both. Demos. Run chessboard. That will be on mounted on both system. And let's try to simultaneously boot both computers. Yeah, there is probably a second difference between them when I pressed the reset on both machines. Well, it's demos, it's very uh, famous and very known, it's a very old demo. That's, that's all, that's pretty much, that's a short video showing the Mist version 1.3 where you can get from Lutarec shop or the Eclair XL where it's been made on a special production ba batch so you have to follow the Atari age thread and just uh, see where the next, next batch or next production batch of the Eclair Excel, Excel is going to be made. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep enjoying play with your Atari.